How do you know exactly what time it is? For example, if your teacher shows you this clock and says this is when you're going to go to recess, how do you know how many minutes after 12 you're going to get to go to recess? In this lesson, you will learn how to read the exact minute on a clock by using a counting strategy. So let's review. You already know that a clock has a clock face, an hour hand, and a minute hand. And you also already know how to read time to the five minute interval. For example, you know this clock says 515. And a common mistake that a lot of people make is just mixing up the hour hand and the minute hand since they're both on the same clock face. And one way to remember it is that hour is a short word and minute is a longer word. And the hour hand is a short hand and the minute hand is a longer hand. So when you're starting to read the minutes on a clock, it's important to remember that a clock is just a number line stretching from zero all the way to 59 that has been curled into a circle. And just like on a number line, each little line, which we're going to call them hashes, stands for one minute. And usually when you look at a number line, all of the hashes do not have a number label because there's not enough space and clocks are exactly the same. So instead of numbering each hash, which would look like this, would be pretty hard to read, they only number every five hashes. And so when we're telling time to the exact minute, we can use a counting strategy. We can start at zero and we can count by five minutes. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. This is a more efficient counting strategy than counting by single minutes, like one, two, three, four. So let's try it. If we're looking at this clock, we know that the hour hand is pointing past five, so it's five o'clock. And now we want to focus on the minute hand, and we're going to use our counting strategy. We're going to count zero minutes, five, ten, fifteen, and then we have to start counting by ones. 16, 17, 18. And so now we know that this clock shows 518, or 18 minutes after 5 o'clock. So let's look at that clock we saw at the beginning of the lesson. And now we're going to be able to use our counting strategy to figure out what time exactly you're going to get to go to recess, or how many minutes after 12 you'll get to go to recess. So let's use that strategy. We're going to go 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28. And so we know we're going to go to recess at 12.28 p.m. or 28 minutes after 12. In this lesson, you've learned how to read the exact minute on a clock by using a counting strategy.